Hey folks, Farhan Akil here from Geeks Creative and welcome to this episode. And in this episode, we are going to go into details about the different gestures that are available in the Unity package that comes with the package manager, of course. And uh, we're also going to look at its confidence and what is actually a confidence level and what is the difference between the simulation mode, gesture recognition and the device gesture recognition. Alright, so let's get started. For this video, we are going to start a new project and we are going to import the Unity package that comes with the package manager. And to do that, you can just go to your launchpad and click on Unity, like 2018.1.0 BA technical preview. And you can just click on New. Set the project name to anything you like. Um, I'm just going to name it as Magic Leap um, Gesture control and I don't want any analytics for this project and for the template I'm just going to select magic leap okay just click on create project so the project is loaded we don't have any other thing like we just have this sample scene that is this scene itself and in the presets we just have this camera nothing else the next thing we would need to do is we need to import the package that comes with the package manager okay and to just do that you can just click on package manager it will going to open up the package manager and the reason why I have done this because uh, I really don't want to like go into any other folder and just search for the unity package this package manager gives me a good option that it saves the package in a separate folder and you can access it by just clicking on open in folder button and we're just going to see this in a second okay it is asking for my mail and just click on continue it will going to send a new code to my email I'm just going to open up hotmail and you might remember that when you installed magic Leap for the first time I asked you to just make sure that if you want to download this package you can do that but for this video this is mandatory okay if you don't have this check uh, there will be an option to download and install uh, I don't have that option is because I already have it downloaded so I'm just going to click on open folder there's the package so what I can do is I can either drag this in my Unity project or I can just double click it okay so I'm just going to drag it on the assets I'm going to do it. prepare the package to decompress and just make sure everything is selected and click on import so the package has been imported and what we can do is we can just click on magic leap under examples saints and we have this gesture now this gesture scene has two game objects that are the two root game objects and they are just for organizing purposes they don't have any special feature um, still this rendering game object has the main camera and all the things and the rendering don't have any separate special layer or the content don't have any special separate layer but this content game object has this gesture example game object now this gesture example has three components and two of them are mandatory if you want to recognize any gesture these two are mandatory the third one is the key point visualizer and what it does is whenever you move your head it will going to follow all the gestures to the point where you are facing in front and this works in a simulator in the device both okay the first thing is we got this gesture component and this gesture allows us to make sure that what gesture we want to track is it gives us in the list okay and this no hand is also a gesture and we're just going to look at it in one minute okay so if I want to track finger fist or pinch or thumb these gestures will be recognizable if I ever like launch them from the simulator or do the gesture on runtime in the device these gestures will be tracked 
Now, in these gestures, uh, we got these following gestures that came up with the Magic Leap package in the assembly from the assembly. And it is C, Fist, L, OK, Open Handbag, Pinch, Finger, and Thumb. Now, you don't see any no hand gesture, it's because the no hand gesture will going to return true if there is no gesture tracked. Okay, if you are trying to track a gesture and you set the property of no hand to be tracked from, from this gesture example, it will going to return true if there is no gesture tracked. All right. Now, the way we can play this or launch these gestures on simulator or on the device is we can just play. And there is one thing um, to note for the simulation purposes is that the gesture's confidence can be set from the simulator itself. Okay, but on the device, the confidence level is set on runtime, and the confidence level is percentage of accuracy that the gesture has been tracked. And we're just going to look it in. Let me just start the simulator. And to start the simulator, uh, we can just click on a remote. This is the magically remote. And I noticed that I have this package manager open, so I don't need that. You can just click on quit. We also have an option to start the device, but I don't have that device tracked or I don't have the device connected right now. So I can just click on start simulator and I will be able to fire those events or those gestures on runtime using the simulator. Okay. And the simulator has been loaded. And right now we are getting this permission <laughs> the first thing is the permission and the second thing is this a white background it doesn't have any room yet so we are going to load a room that we created in the previous video so load virtual room and click on large room modified the same room we created in the last video and I'm going to put a link in the description for the last video as well okay so we are in this room and If you want to make sure that this project works on Magic Leap Simulator, you can just click on play, but it won't gonna play now because your project don't have any Magic Leap devices or that Magic Leap assemblies. It does import that Unity package, but it won't gonna play on simulator because what you need to do is you need to click on this enable zero iteration. What it will do is it will going to import it is asking for a select luminous decay and luminous decay and I can just select from my username magic leap MLSDK and the luminous decay click on choose and it's going to import some assemblies yeah it is asking for a restart it is mandatory you can just click on restart and it's going to restart the editor but it will not going to give you any option to select the project like you get every time you restart unity so the project has been loaded and what we can do is we can also see that we have a new folder virtual devices and it has plugins it means that the magic leap has successfully done this zero iteration that imported the magic leap assembly libraries and other stuff Okay, what we can do is we can just click on play. And we got an error. Well, why? We got an error. And do you know why we got an error? It's because our platform is not the luminous decay. And if you remember that in the first video, what I did is whenever I create a project, I make sure that it is convert it into a luminous decay project so this was the reason why we got an error and to resolve that what we can do is we can just go to the build setting and select this luminous decay it already has this SDK path as I've already mentioned it okay just click on switch platform now it has a luminous OS right here so we can start the simulator again and we can run this project on the simulator and to do that just click on remote 
and then when the remote opens up you can just click on start simulator click on allow uh, load virtual room and just click on large room modified the same room we created before and now go to unity just clear this and click on play now you can see that it gives these gestures and let me just open up the simulator I got these gestures on the remote and uh, if you remember, uh, I mentioned that we got a third component over here in the content rendering gesture example. I got a third component. This is a spherical key point type and it is a key point visualizer. What it does is it follows the magic leap camera like a spear. You can see that I can move my head and it is following me like a spear. We have different options right here. I can even uh, select capsule, cube, plane, quad, and different stuff. Okay. Now it is following me. Now the way I can trigger a gesture is by going on these properties, expanding these gestures and it gives us two options, two root options that the first thing is a left hand gesture, the second thing is a right gesture. And it allows us to set up the confidence level of the gesture that you want to track. For example, we have all these gestures that are available from the Magic Leap and we have this no hand gesture as well that means that if no hand gesture is tracked it will going to fire an event okay and we can set the confidence level zero is something that is no gesture the one is the maximum accuracy gesture okay uh, let's just say uh, we want to fire a point gesture and we just click down the point gesture and its confidence level was zero so there was no gesture track and if I set it to one it means that a gesture with 100% accuracy has been tracked that's why it is showing the color as green and if I set its confidence to something like 0 0.5 0 0.5 you can see that its color was a little bit lighter than the previous one because of 100% accuracy versus the 50% accuracy and the same way we can fire different gestures according to the hand the left hand gesture and its confidence and then we can like track a right hand gesture let's say we want a thumb with a hundred percent accuracy so this is the hundred percent accuracy green and this is the 0.5 or like 50 percent accuracy and I can set it to 0 0.1 so you can see that it is even lighter and you can barely see it uh, I think we can see the difference in 25% accuracy in 100% accuracy and when you want to track these gestures on the device you need to make sure that your hand left or right goes in front of your face or in front of the head or in front of the magic leap device to perform that gesture in order to make sure that the confidence level set to maximum or like the 100% the next thing uh, we can look at the position and orientation these are the head position and the orientation depending on the simulation because uh, the simulation is like artificially tracked gestures or artificially fired uh, events for the gesture in which we are setting custom confidence level to make sure that uh, we provide a low accuracy gesture tracking or like high accuracy gesture tracking so that was it for this video and in this video uh, we have learned how we can fire different gestures using the simulator and how we can import that how we can start the gesture controls and what we need to make sure that uh, when we go into problem with the Lumino OS as uh, we got an error before that our project was not set to Lumino OS and it gave us an error and there will also one more error you will encounter while developing any app for Magic Leap is sometimes when you restart a project and you restart a simulator even though you have those Magic Leap libraries it will not go as you expect or it will not perform as you expect it will not run in the simulator and to like solve that issue what you can do is you can just press stop and click on Magic Leap, enable zero iteration, 
and it will give you an exception that zero attribution libraries are already present. Do you want to reimport them? You don't really want to reimport them. Just click on cancel, and there will be another option like the restart editor. The thing is that you need to restart your editor again if you quit the simulator or quit the editor. So sometimes it requires a restart again. And if it doesn't give you an option to restart and it gives you this, zero attrition is active, you can just click on OK and press the play button and it will going to run on the simulator. So this was it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure to like, share and subscribe and uh, I'm continuously going to create some more content as the documentation gets more detailed and the documentation get, provides really good stuff and good knowledge about the Magic League. And see you guys in the next video. Okay, goodbye.